Well, Rhys, first of all, welcome to Port Vale Football Club and congratulations on the move. You must be really pleased to get it finally over the line. Yeah, of course. It's been a bit of a while, like, obviously taking this time where we have to finalise these things. But I'm ready to go, ready to get started. And you've been on trial with the club for the past few weeks. How have you found it with your new teammates? Yeah, very well, very good. Um, seeing the way that we want to play, obviously knowing the gaffer well from when we used to play at Macclesfield, but the way the team is set up and the way the vision that we want to go in, the direction that we want to go in is, is very, very promising. He's made it no secret, the gaffer, that he's looking to add more players to the squad, especially with pace, and you can certainly bring that to this team, can't you? Yeah, definitely. I think that's one of the reasons why he wanted to bring me in to uh, just to, to add to the team what they what they were got already. But obviously, my my game is obviously taking people on and getting wide and getting crosses and shots in. So I think that's what he what he wanted. And on a personal note, how has it been for you the past few weeks coming in on trial and sort of getting a feel for the club under a new era and a, and a new chapter for the for Port Vale? Yeah, it's been very good because obviously when you're on trial, you, you obviously don't just dive straight in. You obviously get to feel around and what's, what the players are like, what the managers are like, what the club's like, the people in the club. And everyone's been amazing, to be fair, since I've stepped in through the door. So it feels like a really good club and I can't wait to get started. To be fair, everyone was quite familiar as soon as I walked in. Like, I didn't feel like I was at, on trial. They always made me feel straight away that I was a part of the team, no matter what, what I was on. So no matter if I hadn't signed yet. So it was very good. Unfortunately, you can't feature in today's game against Bury because you've got a slight hamstring injury, but you're hoping to feature against Colchester next week. You must be really excited to get that season underway now. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just taking my time, not trying to trying to hurt myself too much, so I'm just going to see how it goes. And when you look around this ground, holds just under 20,000 people. It's quite a difference to, to other clubs that you've featured at. You must be really looking forward to seeing this ground buzzing. Like I said earlier, it's a new era for the club and, and people have got a wave of momentum, positivity around it. Yeah, I've, well, I've seen it already. We've already had like 4,000 4, in pre-season games and I've, I've seen the atmosphere. So imagine if there was 20,000, it would be rocking. So yeah, I can't wait to be seeing that. And obviously, I hope that the team goes very far so that we can... To, the fans can come and support us and we can we can do our job. And having spent time with your new teammates, what do you think this team are capable of achieving this season? Everything. Everything. Like the, the team that we have is so well balanced. Like we have the players and the, the know how that's just most important for this league. I think that to do well in this league you need to have the experience and I think we've got that in abundance. But we've also got youthful youthful exuberance. So like we've got players like me that are quite young that will that will do something different, you know what I mean? That will bring something different to the table. So I think that will, that's where we all balance each other out. Well, it's interesting you say that because as you said, you know, Scott Brown in goal, Leon Leg, but then you've got quite a young back four around Leggy and, and that with the likes of Nathan Smith, Adam Cruz. And as you go through the team, there is, there is that balance, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. All over, you see Popey up top who's been around the game for a long time. He, everyone, Everybody knows people that are, everyone's got someone close to them that's been around. So. Someone's, everyone's always talking to you and telling you what like what you should and shouldn't do and how to kind of carry yourself so everybody's kind of on the same mission.